What can $1.2 million get you in Tokyo? This right behind me is a building in Mita. It's called the Isagaro Place. And Mita is a great area in between Roppongi and the Azabu area as well, and also Shinagawa. The unit we're going to see today is a beautifully remastered, re-energized, renovated, renovated two bedroom, one bath, 92 square meters, just about a thousand something square feet, located on the top floor over here. And before I show you the inside of this beautiful apartment, let me show you what Mita has to offer. Mita itself is a high-end and quiet residential area, famous for being the home of many of Japan's elites, as well as the location of a few diplomatic missions such as the Italian and Australian embassies. It's known for its schools such as Mita Elementary and Keio University, which is one of the top-rated colleges in Japan. It's very close to the Azabus, which I have covered extensively in my other videos, go check them out. But also nearby, you'll find one of Tokyo's most famous landmarks and obvious examples of plagiarism, Tokyo Tower. There's also tons of temples and shrines, most noticeably this one, Zojoji, which was featured in a little movie called The Wolverine. Yeah, that one. Also close to Mita, you'll find amazing restaurants such as this Italian place known for its star-shaped pizzas, Ukaite, a famous tofu restaurant, and, get this, an actual bagel shop. This might not sound that amazing to most people, but finding a place in Tokyo where you can order a lox and a schmear on a poppy seed bagel is pretty much impossible. And speaking of which, Mita is also home to one of two of Tokyo's Chabad houses, which are basically Jewish community centers. Want to cook at home? There's not only one, but two Peacock supermarkets within walking distance from this apartment. And with that, let's get back to the apartment. So before I show you this room, which is the kitchen and also the dining room and the living room over there, I want to show you the other parts of this apartment, because I think they are equally cool. Now you come into here, you have the bathroom. Now, this bathroom is absolutely beautiful. It's not the biggest bathroom in the world, but it's all you need, again. And you can see everything in here is not like your normal Japanese bathroom. Everything in here was built completely from the ground up, just for here. The owner had complete creative control to do whatever he wanted with every room, and that includes this bathroom. Now, the bathroom itself is very nice inside, and I have to say something about these tiles right here. These are not heated tiles, but at the same time, they are called Lixel Thermal Tiles. Lixel is a brand over here. And they are extremely warm to the touch. And the reason being is, I'm not quite sure what the reason is, but they're not cold and that is all that matters. Now, the bathtub itself. As you can see, it's quite spacious in here. You have the rain shower up there. These are pretty hard to find in Japan. And a normal shower, a little handheld shower as well. But you have this beautiful bathtub in here. Ugh, that is perfect for maybe one or two. It's quite deep as you can see. You get uh, to soak every inch of your body in here. And the bath is actually an automatic bath. It has a little control panel over there to tell you when you want it filled, to what temperature you want it filled, and also how much you want it filled up. And the best part about this place is when you're done with doing your laundry in Japan, usually you would just hanging outside, but in here, you actually have a control panel over there that allows you to turn this bathroom area into your own dryer. So that little device in the top right here, that is where the actual air comes out to heat, dry, or even cool down the bath. But when you want to hold your laundry up and actually dry it all off, you just put these bars right here, and then you can hold your laundry up there to make it all dry and nice. So every good bathroom needs a good toilet, and this apartment has an amazing one. Coming into here, we can see the actual toilet. We have this guy right here, which normally would open up for me. He's not really doing that. Uh, let's see. There we go. Very nice. Right, this is a tankless toilet. You can see that it doesn't actually have the tank on top of it. It is a Toto, top of the line, very nice Japanese toilet. Everybody loves these. You know, you can wash your bum, you can flush all different kinds of flushing methods, whatever you want. This is a very comfy place to be in because you have a mirror right here to look at yourself while you're using the toilet and also a sink right here so you don't have to walk all the way over to the bathroom just to wash your hands when you're done. And let's just put that down. Goodbye toilet. 
So coming out of the toilet, I want to show you the first of the two bedrooms. And this is the smaller of the two bedrooms. Right now it is, as you can see, being used as the kids' room. And it's a perfect size for a kids' room, or a guest bed, or even an office if you want to use it as something like that. And you can see right here through the Bauman curtains that this place has a great view. It's started to rain, sorry about that. But the nice thing about this place, the windows in this place, every single window in this apartment is double glazed. And we're talking about real thick brothers, right? These are some serious, serious double glazed windows. So right over here, we have a walk-in closet. Great for your kids, great for your stuff, great for your office as well. And it looks like this place was actually outfitted with its own little Miele stove and oven set and everything. So even the kids get a good kitchen here. Now coming out of the kids' room, let's go see the master bedroom right over here. As you can see, it's not the biggest bedroom, but it's just the right amount of space that you need. You can fit a queen-size bed, even a king-size bed if you really wanted to. One more thing I want to show you in this bedroom is these closets right here. These closets are made in Italy. They are specifically made for this apartment and then shipped over here and put right into the wall. And they are just phenomenal. Every little piece of it just feels so good. The doors, they slide perfectly. The wood is heavy and soft on your fingers. And the cool thing about these, right above here, you have this AC unit. So in Japan, most AC units are either built in, as they call them, or just like the block, the brick that you have on the wall. And most built-in ones as well, you can see them, right? But these are actually completely covered and into the wall. It doesn't seem like a big thing outside of Japan, but in Japan, this is very, very rare. Now, let's go see the rest of the apartment. So, now let's see the last part, my favorite part. It's kind of dark in here. Okay, Echo, turn on all the lights. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, this place has smart lights. You can just talk to Echo over there and uh, she will help you out with all the different lights in here. And in fact, there's even a movie mode. So if you want to watch a movie and you don't want it to be completely dark in here, uh, the Echo system will actually keep it dim and very, very dark. So the first part of this room is my favorite part of this apartment and pretty much every apartment in house. And it is the kitchen. I just love kitchens, don't you? And this one is absolutely beautiful. It is unlike any other kitchen in Japan, in my opinion. And mainly because the owner is British and he wanted to build it to a more, you know, non-Japanese standard, more international standard. You can see you have this Caesar stone counter over here. You have more Caesar stone counters over here, all made by Cucina Italiana. It's this company that is based over here. Very, very cool. And all of the electronics in here, everything from the stove over to the oven over there, and even the dishwasher is all made by Miele. Of course, if you're gonna do it, you do it right, okay? And this place has induction heat. I just love induction heat. I used to hate it, but I realized that it is much better than gas. You can boil water much quicker than you can with gas. There's a lot less energy that is being used, and also you don't have to keep your windows open for ventilation from burning all that gas. And it just looks so much cooler and is a lot easier to clean, too. You can see, again, I mentioned the dishwasher. It is a full-sized Miele dishwasher. Full-sized, yes. And over here, right around the beautiful counter with all this space to do all your prep work is this oven which is not turning on for me, but you can see, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Just to make your cakes, all your chocolate cakes and whatever you want. So just a couple of other things about this kitchen. You can go right here and see, there's just these cool little drawers that come out for extra storage in the corners. I always love that. So where do you put all your snacks? In a lot of places you have a pantry. This place doesn't have a pantry, but it has this right here, which I absolutely love. You have all your places for your little spices and all your different flavorings and also your snacks. Of course, everybody needs snacks, right? But that leads us to this, the dining area. Right next to the kitchen, you can see you actually have a couple of spaces to uh, eat at the kitchen, a little breakfast bar over there. But you have this table right here, which is custom made specifically for this apartment. Can you believe it? Yes, this is a solid piece of mahogany cut directly from the tree. Just look at the grain on here. This is a very heavy piece of mahogany. We're talking about almost 200 kilos or like what, 500 pounds or something of pure, 
thick wood right here. This is, <laughs> Jesus, man, that's what got you? 200 kilos or just about 500 pounds of thick, heavy, very dark and beautiful wood, I have to say. And just imagine you and your family and your friends and all that eating at this beautiful kidney bean shaped table. I just love it. So coming to the last part of the living room, dining room, kitchen is of course the living room, the lounge area. The place where you and your family and your friends just chill and watch TV, watch Netflix, whatever. So this sofa really allows us to appreciate the hardwood floors here. These are oak hardwood floors, very hard to find in Japan. And it is here that I just want to tell you the really important details about this place. First off, it is 138 million yen. So that's about 1.2, 1.3 million dollars, depending on the exchange rate. This being a condominium in Japan, you have to pay the monthly management fees and the co-op fees, and there's some other fees as well. You add those all up together, it's going to be 57,000 500 yen. It comes out to about $500 a month. If you want to learn more about this place, check out the link in the description below. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, of course, subscribe to me on YouTube at Tokyo Portfolio. Until next time, thanks for watching. Echo, lights out. Oh, shut up, Echo. <laughs>